McDonald's Nail Art Tutorial by Hot Pink Zebra Polish. Begin by painting all of your nails white. I'm going to start on my thumbnail and with a very bright yellow paint we're going to be painting the McDonald's M or the, or the arch. And so start in the center and paint like a really deep V shape and then curve the each line around to form the sides of the M. So now I'm going to be low lighting it with more of like a golden color or a mustard yellow color. And so just add your shadows on one side of the M of each line. So I'm doing it on the left sides of each line. And then I'm going to be doing a little bit of a outline with black. And so I'm going to start by doing the bottoms. And now instead of doing before I did the left sides of the lines, I'm doing the right sides of the lines. So this is just going to, you know, give it more dimension. Okay, so then below the M, we're going to be writing, I'm loving it, and I'm going to start with the O, right about in the middle, a little bit closer to the one side, um, and then write the rest of lovin', and then it off to, off to the right, and then um, after that, I'm going to be finishing the rest of their slogan on the other side. On your pointer nail with a golden brown color or whatever you'd like your color of your bun to be i'm going to paint the top of the bun and this is going to be a half circle and that's right up about where my cuticle is and i'm going to be painting the bottom bun which is just like a thick line or a thick bar shape and that's near the tip of my nail okay so then our next layer is going to be green for lettuce and i'm just going to make a squiggly type of line and then on top of that, we're going to be painting a wide brown stripe, and this is going to be for the bun. And you do not want your bun to, or your, not your bun, sorry, your patty, your burger patty, to be the same color as your bun. You want it to be darker. And then on top of that, I'm going to be adding some yellow cheese. And this is the same thing. You're going to want to fill in the rest of the space on the burger, but you're also going to want to have it be kind of like a wavy line going down on the burger. So now I'm going to be outlining all of those various layers, and I'm using a thin black line. And in case you're wondering why I just painted that little spot up above on my finger, I had too much paint on my brush and I was getting rid of it. Okay, so then on your middle nail, we're going to be painting the french fries. So I'm going to start with the fry box. And so this is like a trapezoid kind of. So you want the lines to be angled in just a little bit or like if you paint a lot of cupcakes, like a cupcake wrapper. Alright, so then with white paint, we're going to be painting the M art shape on the box, just like we did on our thumbnail. And so now I'm going to be adding the fries, and when I'm painting this, I'm almost thinking of it as like a skyline. So you want the fries to be at all different heights and angles, and sometimes leave a little space in between them and have some coming off to the sides. So think of it as almost like a skyline, if, if you've ever done skyline nail art. And then cover up your white M with yellow paint. You could have, if your yellow is really opaque, you could skip making the white first. Alright, so now we're going to be outlining our french fries. And when you're outlining the fries, I'm going to not do them in an, in order. I'm going to do one here and there. This is going to make them look a little bit more varied, and so some of them look like they're further back, and some of them look like they're closer. On our ring nail, we're going to be painting the McCafe logo. So starting with a dark brown, we're going to be painting the C, and then the rest of Cafe.
and then write the MC before it. So then underline McCafe with a lighter color, more of a tan type of color. On your pinky nail, we're going to be painting a Coke or a Diet Coke or, I don't know, some kind of cola. <laughs> and so I'm going to start with the soda, and this is almost like a football shape. And then I'm going to be painting the, the, red, the red label that's on the cup. And so this is the same shape that we painted for the fry box. Okay, so now I'm going to be doing my outlining, and this is where a lot of the cup comes to life. And so you're going to want to try and leave that little white line between where I said the soda was and the label. And also leave that white edge around the entire cup. If you can, sometimes it's difficult, and you could always touch up what happened if you had a mishap later with white paint. And then also don't forget to add a straw. So then as I mentioned with mishaps, it happens to everyone. So I'm going to be touching up all of my little black lines with white paint. And then I'm also going to be filling in the straw. And when you get to the bend in the straw, we're also going to be adding just little black lines. And then um, write your M just like you have been on the red label. So then, as I have been mentioning, um, make the little black lines on the bend of the straw. And fill in your art shape with yellow. And of course, add a layer of top coat. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked my design. Please share any recreations with me on Facebook and Twitter. I always love to see them. And I will see you in my next video. Bye!